Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Estrada and today I'm going to tell you all about one of my favorite Chrome extensions called LastPass. Now this is not just for Chrome, but I happen to be using it on Chrome. It actually works on Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Opera, and Internet Explorer. So whichever browser you prefer, it will work. It also works on your devices for Apple and Android. So we've got you covered here no matter what you're using. And I really particularly like this because I can not only it LastPass will help me sign into any website I want from my computer, but it also works on my device, on my mobile phone when I'm out and about, which is amazing. Okay, now what they want you to do is create a username and one secure master password. And they say to use something like a memorable phrase, look around for inspiration. It says it can include the lyrics to a song, a quote from a movie, or the color of your favorite coffee mug. They do have a blog post right here, how to make a strong master password. If you need help coming up with a password, go ahead and read that blog. And it has a lot of useful tips in there. I'll put a link to this in the description below so you can find it quickly and easily. Once you have an account, you can add any website that you have an account with into your vault. So forgetting your passwords to all these websites is now a thing of the past. Anytime you create a, a password, it will ask you if you want to save it to LastPass. And when you do, it adds it to your vault and then it's always there from then on. If you're worried about security, don't worry. It says that they have a strong encryption algorithm, local only encryption. Also, there is multi-factor authentication, which adds extra security to your LastPass account. You can get LastPass for free by clicking here. Once you've downloaded it, you can activate it by going to, you need to go to the Chrome and add it to Chrome. So you're gonna click add to Chrome, add extension, and then you're gonna wait for it to pop up and the little gray box with the three dots is going to suddenly appear in just a minute. Where are you at? Where are you at? There we go. Don't worry about syncing. I don't want to click that. So I'm going to X out of it and I'm going to click here to sign into my LastPass account. If you did not create an account already inside of that LastPass website when you were over here, then you can create an account by clicking here on create account. I'm going to go ahead and sign in to my LastPass. All right, once you sign in and you are logged, once you're logged into your LastPass account, you can click on this little icon and you can open your vault. You can go to any recently used websites. You can add an item, but one of the cool things that I really love is you can generate a secure password. Um, just to show you this little section right here real quick, add item, this is where you can save like kind of like a little file, a secure file. It'll allow you to put like an address in there, a secure note a credit card, a bank account, driver's license, passport, security number, social security number, insurance policy information, health insurance, Wi-Fi passwords, all kinds of stuff you can put in here. So, but we're gonna go back and we're going to click, click on create or generate a secure password. If you see this little icon that looks like this um, in your password, like when you're logging into a website, if you see that little tool right there, that means you can generate a secure password by clicking on it. If you are logged into LastPass, you can do the same thing. So you tell it how many characters you want it to be from one to 99, and you can pick on if you want it to be easy to say, which is usually a little bit less secure, um, easy to read, or all characters. And the more, like as you go down this list, the harder it gets, you know, the more encrypted it gets. But if you want it to have uppercase, lowercase numbers, symbols, you just check mark the box for whatever you want and whatever you don't want. You can see here that as you take away different factors, it makes the password less or more secure. And then you click fill password. If you want right here, you can change it and just keep recycling and it'll keep generating new passwords. And until you find one that you particularly like, then you can save it. I personally try to get it to generate passwords without an O or a zero because I don't like having to distinguish if it's an O or a zero when I'm not copying and pasting. So I keep going. If it has zeros or O's, I just keep going until there's something that doesn't have that number. And there you go. 
and then you just can either highlight it and copy it, or you can click here to copy it, and then it'll be ready to paste it into whatever website you are saving a password to. When, you're, when you are done, a little thing will pop up over here and it'll ask you if you wanna save it to your vault, and you can just click yes, and when it's saved, it'll give you a little green check mark saying that it's saved to your vault, and then it's always in your vault, and from then on, all you have to do is click on that, when you're logging into a website and it will automatically log you in. It's really cool. So I hope this was helpful and useful and I hope that you go sign up for LastPass right now because it's free and it's going to save you so much time and headaches. You are going to absolutely love it. I've been using it for about five years and I can't imagine life without LastPass. So anyway, that's all for today. I will see you on the next video and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And in the meantime, go let your light shine. I'll talk to you next time.